Oh, hey, doorknob. Did you poop on the ground again? Oh, hello, kids. <laughs> what are you doing hiding under my bed? Come here. <laughs> oh, well, welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. Look at this handsome baby boy. Well, everybody, it's been a wonderful, wonderful year. Uh, and today, this is the first video for the YouTubes of the uh, 2021. I just wanted to say to you guys, thank you so much for being here with me up to this point. Uh, this will probably be the last video we shoot on an iPhone. But uh, today we have a very special treat for you guys. Uh, we got this little baby boy and you've seen the video on how uh, we take care of this little orphan kangaroo. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Uncle Ben, this is a pretty cool kangaroo you got here. Uh, I can't wait to watch the whole video about it. Well, sorry. This is going to be a video about pigeons. So back in the sack you go, son. Back in the sack. Look at that. He just goes right in. A boom. All right, so uh, this is a video about pigeons. If you want to see more of the kangaroo, you're gonna to have to subscribe to the uh, to this channel. So hit the subscribe and hit the like. Hey, you kids better remember to put your seatbelts on. <laughs> oh! But this is the reason why they're exterminating the pigeons here. If you come on real close, Uncle Ben's gonna give you a nice little taste. Uh, this is called guano, and this is a uh, pigeon poo poo. And uh, they have that caca there, and uh, that's what they don't like here, and that gets all over these people's nice cars. So uh, they just decide, okay, well, uh, uh, we might as well just kill the pigeons. So they go around with BB guns, they put down poison or do whatever. Uh, but we get to come in here and see if we can catch them. All right, guys, that's why you always stretch beforehand. Old Uncle Ben forgot to stretch his ankles. Okay guys, we got our first little feral pigeon. As you can see, it's kind of scared. But the thing is, feral pigeons are so used to humans because they've been domesticated for thousands and thousands of years that all you have to do to train them and to get them used to you is just hold them for like an hour. Uh, once you hold them and play with them for like an hour, they become your pet. And uh, it's amazing. Most people don't know that. All you have to do is hold them and then hand feed them. And then after a while, they'll be your friends. And just like the ones that we have back at the farm already, uh, I've done that with them, and they don't like love me as if they would if you raised them from the time they were babies, but uh, they'll stay there and then they'll come back and they'll fly and they'll go away and then they'll come back and uh, you can feed them every day. Then they're your pigeons. And I have some holes in the back of this. The importance of hay is just so whenever they end up pooping, they don't have to slide in the poop. I'm gonna put them in there, I'm gonna set them down, and, pull them. and that's it. So he's gonna calm down, and he's already calmed down, and then he's gonna be in there. Dude, baby! What the? It's scared now, but all you have to do is hold their wings in, give them a kiss, and then put them in here with lots of hay, okay? And the second you do that, they calm down. So they're, they're not being stressed. The most stress they experience is when they're in the neck briefly. And then the first probably about five seconds and then we'll put them in there. Booyah. Okay guys, that makes five. Okay guys, so I want to show you guys right here. This is why you Clean up your freaking fishing line whenever you're done fishing. I don't know if this is fishing line or just some other trash, but this poor goose uh, got caught in here and it's it's actually wrapped around its neck. And if we hadn't have been here uh, doing this tonight, we would not have been able to save him. Uh, so I'm gonna try and just rip this. You can actually cut it within the two of your teeth here. That's what I learned from fishing. So we got it off his neck, we got it off there, and there we go. And he is clearly dehydrated, or not dehydrated, he's malnourished because he hasn't been able to eat anything because he's been stuck here on those sticks. Um, looks like this is bad too. And it's funny, he's just gone, he's been, uh, he's just chill now because he knows what we're doing. Hey buddy. 
So we're gonna get him back to the rescue ranch. We're gonna get him back to the rescue ranch and uh, we're gonna get him some nice warm food uh, because he's been here for far too long. Oh, I got this you. is a nice, beautiful, beautiful goose too. So, but we're gonna get him warmed up. He's freezing. It's funny, you guys, we came up here to make the pigeon video originally. And I thought about coming down and showing you guys how to catch the ducks too, because uh, most of those ducks are abandoned here and neglected and they're not being fed by anyone, especially in the winter. You could not tell that he was stuck in there. It, he was just, he had fishing line wrapped around his neck like you saw, and he was stuck on a log. He never would have been able to get out of that. And he would have sat there until he died. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. Be sure to like and subscribe because that helps old Uncle Ben out a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.